Hey everybody, I'm Greg from SCT Adventures and on today's episode we're going to talk about the top five must-haves for your next cruise. If you're a first-time cruiser, you might find this episode handy. If you're a uh, frequent cruiser, you probably already know the top five things you must have. And if you if, they, if yours differ from what I'm fixing to share, uh, uh, drop those in the comment section to help those people out that hadn't cruised before. Um, so we're going to jump right into it. We're going to share these top five things. We're going to do it right after this. So we have top five things that we came up with that we always uh, carry on our cruises and we don't leave home without. Uh, before we get into that, hey, I'm going to ask you real quick, if you if you hadn't subscribed to the channel, we sure would appreciate it. Just go click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a moment of content when we upload it. we got some vlogs coming up. We're going to be on the Magic here in August. We're going to be uh, on the Liberty in November, and we're going to be sharing those vlogs with you, and we'd appreciate you um, checking those out. But anyhow, we're going to jump right into it. So these are in no specific order, but these are five things that we don't leave the house without. So number one, or number five, whichever way I decide to put it in there because I'm not polished. Here we go. This is a non-surge protected power strip. Now, uh, the cruise lines won't let you bring anything with the surge protector. They will confiscate it. But you can go on Amazon and find plenty of these things that are, that are non-surge protected. This particular one, as you can see, has three USB power strips and it has three uh, regular outlets, nice long cord. I will link to this down in the description or at least one very similar to it in case you want to click on it and check it out on Amazon. Um, very handy. You'll need these. Most of the, the the ships only have one outlet or maybe two. Some of the newer ones have some USB plugs, but um, very handy. You don't want to leave home without that. So number two, the number two thing that you don't want to leave home without is motion sickness medication. Now the ships carry it. Uh, you can purchase it on the ship, but uh, and most people don't have a problem with motion sickness on the ship. But from time to time, rough seas or what have you, if you're sensitive to that, you might have a problem with it. So make sure you carry you some Dramamine or something like that. Or uh, people, uh, some people swear by the, the armbands that you can get off of Amazon. We haven't tried them, but we have heard people that said they work like a charm. So you, I'll link to those in the description too if you want to click on them and try those. Some people go to their doctor before they leave on a trip and uh, talk to their doctor about getting a prescription over-the-counter medication, something like that. So whatever you choose, just make sure you kind of leave with something just in case you start getting that little tinge in your stomach on, on, a, on a rough sea day if you have one. But most people... Uh, if, you're, if it's your first time and you're worried about it, don't worry about motion sickness. You, you will most likely be fine. You will enjoy your, your cruise. It's a blast. So that's number two. All right, so number three, something that we don't leave home without. Um, not everybody uses them, but we love them. They come in very handy, and that is your, your cruise lanyard. Your cruise lanyard. These things are fantastic for attaching your sail and sign card to because you're going to use your sail and sign card all over the ship. Um, we like the ones that have the quick disconnect on it so that you can take this off, hand the, your card to the, to the person that you're getting the drink from, or if you're in the casino and you need to put uh, your card in, or some of the ships require that when you, you need to put your card in to keep the lights on or use the uh, air conditioning system, whatever it may be, that quick disconnect comes in handy. So we like those. Lanyards, you can get these on Amazon. Um, they sell them on the ship as well. Uh, sometimes you can get them complimentary on the ship in the casinos or what have you. But make sure you get you a lanyard. Um, we got some off of Amazon once before, but we have these nice little Surf City Travel ones we're, we're kind of proud of. But anyhow, lanyards. Don't leave home without them. That's number three. Okay, so number two. Number two is something that, um, that we got we thought would be easy. Is That is your luggage tag holder. So your luggage tag holder, a lot of people um, we've seen that just print them off. And, and you'll notice when you print your luggage tags for the first time, they do come where you can fold them wrap them around your handle of your luggage, staple them, and, and that's fine most of the time, but sometimes that's easy to get ripped off. So we decided to purchase these, and as you can see, this has a metal clasp that screws together, stays on pretty tight. It would be very difficult for this to rip off a piece of luggage. So we really suggest you get these. I think I saw a four pack of these on Amazon for $9.99, uh, and then you may can find a little bit cheaper, but I'll link this down in the description too in case you wanna check these out. Very nice, very handy to have. We don't leave home without our luggage tag holders. And lastly, something that um, my wife came up with, and I don't know where she saw it on a vlog or she saw it from, from uh, some of the other vloggers or whether she just read it on Pinterest. Who knows where she got it, but it was very handy, at least on our last cruise, and that is a collapsible laundry basket. Now, this thing folds up nicely. We put it right in with our luggage. It took up no space whatsoever, but when we got in our cabin, we uh, took that thing apart, hung it in the closet, 
and it took up, I mean, it helped us tremendously as we uh, went throughout our week and threw our clothes in it. And the end of the cruise, we were able to put everything back up, fold it back up, put it in our laundry. It took up, it took up very little space and it's very handy. So I'm going to link to that in the description. I saw a two pack on Amazon for like $11.97. I think we got ours at the Dollar Tree or somewhere like that last time. The Dollar Tree is a great place to start your uh, cruise haul before you head out to go find things, whether it be some of the things I don't have on the top five is, is towel clamps and, and that sort of thing. But these are the top five things. If you have something that I, we haven't thought of in our top five that you think needs to be ranked higher than this, drop it in the, the comment section and let us know. And let's get the conversation started. Once again, I'm gonna ask you if you hadn't subscribed, go hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and we appreciate you hanging out with us. I'm Greg from SCT Adventures. We love you guys, we appreciate you guys, and we'll see you in our next adventure.